Hello, and welcome to the Hona Harmonica Workshops. Workshop CO3, Exchanging Reed Plates. Replacement reed plates are available for all Hona Chromatic Harmonica models. You can obtain them from your local music retailer or online from the Hona C Shop. The only tool that you require to perform this operation is the screwdriver. You'll need both ends of it. The first step is to remove the covers, loosen the cover plate screws, When the cover screws have been loosened, you remove the cover plates. It's important to be careful not to catch the edges of the plates on the wind savers or on the reeds because you can push these out of alignment. So the way that Gabby just showed you of placing the instrument on the back of a comb and then moving the cover plates off it is the safest way to do this. Before proceeding further, you need to loosen the mouthpiece. In order to do this, Insert the tip of the screwdriver into each of the screws and turn them just a couple of turns. Don't unscrew them. You don't want the mouthpiece to come off. You just want it to be slightly detensioned. Now you need to turn the screwdriver bit around so that you have the posidrive tip. Starting in the middle of the reed plate, you loosen the screws and working once again from the middle towards the edges. When disassembling the instrument. It's not a problem to do this gradually. You can unscrew the screws completely, basically, in one go. But it's always a good idea to get into the habit of starting in the middle of the reed plate and working outwards towards the ends, rather than starting at one end and working along towards the other end, for example. When all the screws have been removed, then you lift off the reed plates with a fingernail. the cover supports will come off at the same time. So, with the exception of the mouthpiece, you have now completely disassembled the harmonica. One thing that you have to watch out for at this stage is not to knock the instrument, because it's very easy for the slide spring to jump out of its mounting, and you do not want that to happen. Now remove the replacement reed plates from the original Hona packaging. As you'll see, they are in a folded piece of card. The purpose of this is to protect the wind savers and the reeds. With all these operations, you have to be careful not to knock the wind savers and not to knock the reeds because you can easily push them out of alignment. Upper and lower reed plates can be distinguished quite easily. The upper plate has holes which are through holes, they're larger. And the lower reed plate has smaller holes because the self-tapping screws have to cut a thread into them. You can also tell which way around to mount the reed plates because the reed plate groove always sits outside of the comb at the front. So now it's time to mount the new reed plates. As I said before, the lower plate does not have threads cut in the holes. You cut the thread with the screws when you screw them in. What this means is that you have to exert a considerable degree of turning force at the start of this process because your screw cuts the thread into the lower plate. However, after you've turned it two to three times, it will have cut the thread and will move freely. So you need to slacken off on the pressure after this, otherwise you may damage the nice new thread that you've just cut in the reed plate. So after you've cut the thread, just turn, tighten the screws gently. Once again, we start at the outside edges of the reed plate and insert the screws left and right at the back to fix the reed plate in position, not tightening them completely, just cutting the thread and turning them in. And then we start in the middle of the plate and work towards the outer ends. Once again, cutting each thread first and not fully tightening the screw until all the threads have been cut and all the screws are in place.
There's a couple of points that it's important to pay attention to when fitting new reed plates. You need to make sure that the plates are flush with the surface of the comb along the whole front edge so that you don't have any air gaps. And once again, the most important thing, don't over tighten. Once you've cut the thread, you turn the screw in until you start to feel firm resistance and the head is against the reed plate. Don't tighten them further than that, or you may damage the thread or warp the reed plate. Both of these will have negative effects on the air tightness of your instrument. Something that you ought to bear in mind when fitting new reed plates is also that it is not possible to fine tune or offset these plates in the factory, because these operations can only be performed on the assembled instrument. What that means is after you have installed the new reed plates, you will need to check the reed gapping and you may need to check the fine tuning. So we recommend that you look at the appropriate workshops in this series. So now we need to tighten the mouthpiece screws. Don't turn them too tight. The slide has to be able to move freely without too much resistance and without too much noise. And then it's time to test the new reed plates. So now it's time to put the cover supports back in place. Just push them in. And when you've done that, then screw the cover plates back on. Gubby is putting the one screw in like that to position the first cover plate. And then you can put the second screw in and it will lock into the uh, jacket that she put in first. And then one repeats the process at the other end of the instrument. Et voila.